Welcome to this wonderful practice of yoga. This is an opportunity to be with your body, your breath, and mind. All for the next full hour of this class or in individual segments. This segment will include centering, meditation, and pranayama, or breath practice. So getting comfortable in your seat, we're going to use the chair today and learn how to practice in our seat. If you're not comfortable in the seat, you can make adjustments. Setting up for centering in your chair, you want to place your feet below your knees, so your ankles are below your knees. Your knees are coming out from your hips. So if your knees are a little bit lower than your hips, you can use a block or even a book and step up on the block to get a more comfortable position here. The back of the chair, if your back doesn't feel supported, you do want to be in an upright position. And if it's not feeling supported, you can place a block on the back between your back and the chair. Again, you can also use a book. Or if you have a sweatshirt or a piece of clothing that's a little bit thicker, you could prop there. If you have a blanket and want a little bit more support between the space of the back of the chair and your back, you can place the blanket there. So take a moment to get comfortable. And when you arrive, simply let your eyes close or your gaze be soft. And take your attention inward. Begin by placing your attention on your body that physical, dense being that you inhabit. And notice how it's feeling right now. Notice your feet and legs and the sensation there as you settle into your seat. Notice your hips and buttocks. And allow them to soften into the seat of the chair. Lean into that support. As you do that, bring your attention to your back body and to your spine. And invite your spine to lengthen from the lower back all the way up through the shoulder blades to your neck. The crown of your head, the very top, reaches gently for the ceiling. So you make space in between each of your vertebra. It's like an accordion that opens up to let the air in. <sighs> Notice your shoulders and shoulder blades and let them soften down while you still keep some length in your spine. Notice your arms, your hands and fingers. And then bring your awareness to the very top of your spine, to your neck and head. And notice sensations there, in the sides of your neck, front, and back. Notice your chin, jaw, cheeks, and forehead. And then to the crown of your head, the top once again. And imagine if your skull could soften, what that might feel like coming down the sides of your face to your chin. With your mouth closed, separate your back teeth. Make a little more space in the jaw. Continue to be aware of body and layer on awareness of breath. Notice your natural breath moving in and out right now. That breath that is always there. You never have to ask yourself to breathe. The body always does it. How is that breath moving right now? Is it fast or slow? Is it short or long? Can you feel the breath as it passes through your nostrils or your throat, your windpipe? 
Do you notice where the breath goes when it enters your torso? Does it go into belly? Does it go into chest? Does it go into both? So notice. Simply let your attention rest on the breath, moving in and moving out. When you bring your attention to your breath or to your body, you bring your attention here to the present moment, the only moment you have, right here, right now. So if the attention wanders, gently invite it to come back and watch your breath move in and move out in and out. The next inhalation, invite a fuller, deeper breath to come in, as much as your body will receive, and then release a longer, fuller exhale, as much as the body will let go of. Full, deep breath coming in and out of your nose if that's available. Full, deep exhale, all the way out. There's no need to force this breath. You simply allow the breath to be fuller and longer coming in and moving out. The body can be relaxed, These full, deep breaths bring your body back to this natural state of calm. This is your natural state. Full, deep breaths can balance the nervous system, activating that rest and digest nervous system. The next breath that comes in, follow it as it comes into your belly, fills up and expands the ribs and comes up into the chest, filling your lungs. And the exhale empties chest, ribs, belly. The breath comes in to belly, ribs, chest, and exhale chest, ribs, belly. This three-part conscious breath called Dirga breath. Another place to place your attention to focus as you watch the breath move into belly, through the ribs, expanding the chest, and the exhale empties, chest, ribs, belly. So we'll continue with this three-part conscious breath practice. In and out. If your attention wanders, simply bring it back to watch the breath. Full and deep, belly, ribs, chest, chest, ribs, belly. Invite four more rounds of this full deep breath. Let the body soften. Simply move the breath, massaging the organs and muscles that help you breathe. Your next exhale, soften back into your natural breath. A 
and take a moment to notice how you feel. After a simple yet powerful breath practice. Taking a few moments to bring your body to this place of calm and ease. Knowing that anytime you practice a breath practice, anywhere from seven to 10 breaths makes up about a minute. So notice how it feels after practicing for about five minutes. Check in with body, check in with breath. And notice the quality of your mind and thoughts and see if anything has shifted from when you first arrived. And then slowly let the eyes flutter open and bring yourself back into this space. Let the arms come down by your side, chin bows to chest. Inhale, the arms come up by your side, overhead. Gaze can lift if comfortable, palms together. Exhale, palms to heart. Chin can bow to chest. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up, overhead. Palms together, exhale, palms to heart. We'll do three more of these sun breaths. The inhale, sweeping up, and the exhale, back to heart space. Notice the connection of breath to movement here. Your attention follows. This is yoga, union. The last one brings palms together in front of your heart space. Bowing forward, you arrive in Anjali Mudra prayer position. Relax your shoulders and press the heels of your palms together. So you activate your arm muscles and compress arm bones. When we compress bone, we build bone. And bring your attention here, bowing forward. Take a moment to think of something you're grateful for, a person, a place, an experience. From that place of gratitude, plant a seed, a wish, an intention, something you would like to grow and nourish in you, knowing that when you nourish yourself, you may have more to give to others. Breath comes in, and as you exhale, arms float back down by your side, and the gaze comes back to center. Eyes can open and come back into your space. This segment will include a series of warm-ups to warm up the spine and the muscles and bones in our body. Bringing your arms down by your side, I'm gonna inhale, sweep the arms up and front and as you exhale, bring arms and gaze to the side. Take a breath in, sweeping the arms up overhead, and exhale, arms down by your side. Again, inhale, lifting up, and the exhale, over. Back and forth as you gently wake up the spine, twisting it from side to side. Twist can be a great way to start your morning. Also support the body and releasing toxins that it no longer needs. We'll do one more each side. Inhale up and the exhale. One more. Inhale up, exhale. Now pause on this side. Let your hips and buttocks soften into the chair. Shoulders are relaxed. Hands can land wherever they're comfortable. Take a breath in to bring length into the spine. The exhale, soften. Now gaze only will move. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let the gaze drift towards center and towards the opposite shoulder. Breath comes in and the exhale initiates the movement, the gaze back through center to where you started. Do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen and the exhale. Gaze towards opposite shoulder. 
and return. Breath in and the exhale sends the gaze back to where you started. Pause here for one more breath in and out. Relax your buttocks into the seat and then the inhale brings length and as you exhale come back to center. Pause. Take a breath in, sweep the arms up overhead, and then exhale to the other side. Again, hands, arms, land wherever they're comfortable, shoulders relaxed, settle into your seat. Take a breath in to lengthen through the spine, and the exhale, soften. Now gaze only will move. Breath comes in, exhale, gaze through center towards opposite shoulder. Breath in, and as you exhale, Come back. Do that one more time. Move the pace of your breath as it moves through your body. And when you arrive back where you started, pause. Take a full breath in and out. And then the inhale brings length. As you exhale, unwind back to center. Then move up in your seat about halfway up. Widen the stance between your legs. If you're on a mat, you can widen the stance to about the width of the mat, but go a little bit wider than the chair um, legs. Hands can rest anywhere on your lap that's comfortable. Take a breath in. As you exhale, begin to circle in one direction around the spine, as if the spine is the pole of a carousel, and you're moving the muscles and bones around this pole in one direction. Now the breath, the inhale, could help the movement coming back, and exhale as you come forward. Notice how big or how small this movement is in your body. How does it feel? Next time you're upright, reverse that circle and notice if it's any different in this position, in this direction. Again, check in with your breath. Is your breath flowing as your body moves? And next time you're upright, pause there. Let your feet get a little bit wider, as wide as is comfortable. Let your arms fall down by your side. Take a breath in, lengthen that spine as you exhale. Reach the left fingertips towards the floor as your right come up towards armpit. Inhale back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale up and exhale. Feel free to exhale with an open mouth. Sigh if you wish. We'll do two more each side, again moving at the pace of your breath. Warming up the side body here now. And we'll do one more, just for a bonus. Good, next time you're back at center, pause there. And just notice how that is feeling in your body. Notice if there's any sensation through the head after you're moving that breath in and out. And the feet can come back in again just a little bit. They're still wider than the, your chair legs. Hands can rest on the legs closer to the knees. Take a breath in to lengthen through the spine. Now the exhale takes left shoulder towards right knee. Inhale, come up and exhale other side. Again, your breath can be in and out through the nose or inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Continuing to gently twist the body, also warming up the side bodies here as well. We'll do one more each side. Next time you're upright, pause there. Inhale, lengthen again through the spine. Exhale, this time come down on the left. Exhale all the way across to the right. Inhale, takes you back up. Exhale, and up. 
I like to call this blowing out the candles and we're aiming for a hundred on our birthday cake. So you need a big deep inhale and exhale all the way across. Next time you're upright, reverse that direction. So the inhale comes in and then it's opposite. Coming down on one side, exhale all the way across. So now we're deepening this circle throughout the hips and the waist. Notice where you feel the sensations. Notice how deep your circle wants to be in this moment. One more time, the inhale, taking you up and exhale. Now, next time you're upright, pause, close your eyes and let this settle in. All right, you can open your eyes if there's any shake or wiggle your body needs. Feel free to do that as you heel toe your feet in now to about hip width apart. You're still halfway up in your chair. The inhale will lift the arms up to shoulder height, bend at the elbows, palms face forward. Take a breath in to bring the forearms together in front, drop your chin to chest. Breath comes in. As you exhale, open the arms up, let heart come forward, gaze lift. The exhale, round. Sorry, that's the inhale. Exhale, open up. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. Inhale, round. So we're flexing and extending the spine now. Exhale, open. Warming it up. We remind the spine that it is designed to move. It's designed to be supple, not be straight and stiff all day. Do one more time, the inhale, rounding. The exhale, open up and pause here in this extended position. Heart reaching forward, gaze lifted. Full deep breath in and out. And then let the arms come forward again to round the back, chin drops to chest. Pause here, let your hips and buttocks soften into the chair and breathe. And imagine that breath coming up your back body. So it's coming up from the very base of your spine through your kidneys into your shoulder blades. That's where your lungs are. And then let the breath leave the body, going all the way back down, out the lower back. Two more full deep breaths into that back body. The next breath that comes in opens the arms back up and down by your side. And pause here, take a full breath in and out. Just having experienced six movements of the spine, moving side to side, around, twisting left and right, and flexing the spine front and back. Bring your hands to heart space and pause. Full breath in and out. This segment will include movements you can do in the chair for your legs and hips. So bring yourself back all the way into your seat. And then reach out for a strap or have a strap with you. If you don't have a strap, something like a scarf will work, or if you have a towel, um, a long towel, that can also help. And we're gonna unwind the strap or your scarf, whatever you have with you today, and place it on the bottom of your left foot. Keep your right foot down on the ground underneath your knee, lining up the knee once again with your coming out of your hip. Extend the foot out so the heel is on the ground and the strap is underneath the foot and you can take a moment to rub that strap up and down the foot, warming up the plantar fascia. And a great way to give yourself a foot massage if there's nobody else around. And then let the strap land and rest somewhere between your heel and ankle. I'm sorry, your heel and arch. Hold the strap ends in both hands up towards the torso. So elbows will be next to body, resting comfortably. Your hips and buttocks are soft in the seat. Your shoulders are relaxed. And pause right here. Take your attention down to your feet. And as you inhale, take toes towards knee. And exhale, flex the foot down towards the floor. 
Inhale, bring toes up. Exhale, down. Two more times. Good. Next time the toes are flexed, pause there. And take a breath in and out. Next inhale invites the leg to lift. Heel is flexed away, toes come towards knee. Notice the sensations in your leg. You may feel it behind your calves, behind your calf, behind your knee, and also behind the thigh, depending on what's going on in your body in this moment. So we're looking to lengthen through the hamstrings and the back of the leg here. Again, the heel is flexed, toes are towards knee, hips and buttocks soft in the chair. Relax your shoulders down and notice your grip. Can you soften the grip? Let the leg muscles do the work, knowing they have the support of this strap. Good. And a couple of deep, full breaths here, in and out. Now one more time, we'll flex the toes in and then flex the toes towards the floor. One more, in and then towards the floor. Flex the toes back towards knee, take a breath in. As you exhale, send the leg out towards the left side. Now check in with this opposite knee. It'll have a tendency to want to flay out to the side. Even though you have the support of the chair, it's important to get that support for your lower back. So lining that knee back up to be coming out from your hip will offer that extra support to your lower back muscles here. Great, pause here. Again, flex the foot, the toes come towards knee, heel presses away. If at any time this is uncomfortable or you're getting a cramp in foot or leg, you can always relax it down. By flexing the foot, we're just adding an extra bonus stretch here for the hamstrings. Shoulders relaxed, elbows by the, your body, and notice your grip. We'll do a little flow and movement here. So take a breath in. As you exhale, let that leg come back to center. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, come back. Inhale out. And exhale. Five more times. So we're looking to work those leg muscles. Notice where you feel it in your body and in your legs. Warming up the hip joints here. One more time. The exhale brings it back. Now the next time, let's lift, let the leg come out and pause. Again, check in. And close your eyes. Let the heel flex away. Notice, has anything changed? The hamstrings get a little bit more length or not? Relax the foot, take a breath in, and as you exhale, foot comes back down. Foot comes to the floor, bring the strap up, and behind the thigh. Now you have an option here to use the strap to help lift the leg up, the knee coming in towards chest. If that's uncomfortable, other options are to have the folded hands underneath your thigh or even around the shin. So you can discover what works best for you here. But I will demonstrate with the strap. So if you have your strap, the breath comes in as you exhale, lift that knee up towards chest. And now take a moment to circle the ankle in one direction and then the other. Flex and extend the foot again. This time just concentrating on the ankle joints. What we're doing when we move all these joints is warming up the synovial fluid. That is our joint WD-40. And we want to keep that moving and warmed up. All right, foot comes to stillness. Now take your attention to your knee and imagine you're gonna draw a circle with your knee. So imagine there's a pencil coming out, pick your favorite color, and let's draw that circle in one direction. As you circle your knee, you're also making these circular movements from your hip creases where your thigh bone comes into your pelvis. Another great place to warm up that synovial fluid. You can reverse the direction. Now you always have the option of having the toes on the ground and making this circular motion as well. All right, and slowly 
that foot will come down to the floor and pause, notice, one side to the other. And you can take that strap and move it to the other side. All right, we'll begin with the heel on the floor, leg stretched out a little bit, and warm up the bottom of your foot. Because this one doesn't want to be left out of that foot massage, trust me. All right, then that strap can land anywhere between heel and arch. Hips and buttocks soft in your seat. Shoulders relaxed. Holding the strap ends close to the torso, so elbows are by your side. And let's flex that foot, so toes come to knee. And then toes point to the ground. Toes to knee, and then to the ground two more times. And then let toes flex to knee and pause there. Take a breath in and out. The next inhale will lift the leg up. Again, the heel is flexed, toes towards knee. Notice how this feels in the back of this leg now. And flex those toes to knee, pausing there. And take a breath in. As you exhale, let's send this leg out to the side. If you come to your fullest extension and it feels like too much sensation for you, you always can move in about 10% closer. So know you always have that option. Again, check in with your other knee, lining that up because bones, when they are stacked and joints are stacked, you get the most support from them. Ah, a couple of breaths here. Check in with hips and buttocks. Your shoulders are relaxed. We don't need shoulder muscles to hold up leg muscles. All right, breath comes in, let's start our flow. As you exhale, leg comes into center. Inhale, send it out. Exhale in and out. And out, we'll go for five more. One, two. Move with your breath. And there's one more, so you come into center and send the leg out and pause there. Flex that foot. Is anything shifting and changing? Just notice, close your eyes and just be in this shape for this moment. And breath comes in and as you exhale, the foot comes back to center, down to the floor. Strap comes up behind the back of your thigh, or if you're using hands, feel free to let the strap just land on the leg. Great. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift the knee up. And start with the ankle circles in one direction, and then the other. Flex and extend the foot. And bring the foot to stillness and now come to your knee and we'll start circles here in one direction. Just notice how big or small these circles are, how the leg and thigh and hip all want to work together. And then reverse the circle. Again, knowing you can always do this with toes on the ground if you need to. And then you bring the foot back down completely and pause. Notice one side to the other. The strap can come down. You can roll it up and then place it to your side. And as you roll up the strap, just simply pause and connect back to your breath. Full deep breaths, coming in and out. When you're done, place the strap down by your side and you can bring palms together back in front of your heart space. Connect with the breath, moving in and out.
This next segment will include standing postures using the chair. Take your hands and place them on the seat of the chair. If you want assistance or help to standing, you can press into the chair and bring the torso up, upright. Inhale, lifting the arms up overhead to extend this lift through the body and the exhale brings palms back to heart. We'll do that sun breath one more time. Inhale, reaching up and the exhale, palms to heart. Pause here and bring your attention now down into your feet. Notice the heels, ball mounds and toes of your feet. And take a moment to rock forward and back on the feet. And then find a center place where you feel grounded and rooted through the soles of your feet. And bring your attention to your toes as you lift all ten toes up and then invite them to come down from pinky to big toe. One more time, invite those toes to come up and then send them down from big toe to pinky. Now remember, it's an invitation. They may not always want to come to the party, but it's a really good practice. So let those toes firmly root down too. They're there to help us from falling forward. Important part of landing. So with the feet grounded, bring your attention to your arches and imagine your arches lifting. Now they don't actually lift off the ground, but you imagine that lift coming up the legs, up through the thighs. It may even feel like the thighs are pulling up on the kneecaps. Tilt the pelvis slightly forward. Your sits bones will aim towards your heels. Stay rooted and grounded down through your hips as you inhale and lengthen through the spine. Imagine a string at the top of your head gently pulling the spine and lengthening you up. Exhale, soften those shoulders and let the shoulder blades come down the back as if they're aiming to go down into the pocket of your jeans. Hands can face the torso or rotate to face forward. Either way, let your hands be open wide, palms stretching, fingers stretching open. Imagine roots coming out of your fingertips and thumbs, reaching down into the earth and being drawn down in. As they do, the heart may lift up and forward. Your chin is parallel to the floor, so you're neither looking up or down, your eyes can be closed or a soft gaze. You have arrived into dasana, your standing pose. This is the foundation for all standing postures, mountain pose. So notice the strength of your core, your body. Notice your stability. Know that you can access this pose any time you need to connect with your strength, with your core, with your foundation, solid foundation. Let the breath flow in and out, full, deep breaths. Take two more of these full, deep breaths. The next exhale, soften back into your body. Let the arms soften the upper body and then the legs. Notice how it feels to exit your mountain pose. And then step to the side of your chair. You can turn your chair Actually, keep the chair facing you right now, or facing the way it was. And we're going to use the back of the chair to help with our balance pose. Know that this chair can be available to support you in your balance practice if you need it. So again, bring your attention to your feet. 
Find that Tadasana stance, that mountain stance that we just practiced. Rooting down, the arches, imagine them lifting, the pelvis tilts slightly forward. Root down and rest on those strong legs that support you. As you are rooting down, you can lengthen through the spine, shoulders relax, shoulder blades soft. Your attention comes down into your feet as you begin to sway side to side. Becoming reacquainted with those inside and outside edges of your feet. The next time you are leaning towards the left side, pause there and root down through that left foot and that left leg. That's your foundation, that's your support. Left heel, right heel comes up to rest on your left ankle or thereabouts, toes connecting to the earth. You've arrived at the root of tree. Now take a moment to fix your gaze. So set, let your gaze be focused on something in front of you, preferably something not moving. You can also choose to have your eyes closed and let your gaze fix right between your eyebrows, that third eye. Now you can stay right here, and this can be your balance practice today. If you want to layer on more challenges, you can inhale one or both arms up overhead. Know that the chair is always available for you to hold on to. You can keep the arms up overhead, palms together, or draw the palms to heart space. If you'd like to add on another challenge, you can invite the foot to climb up the leg, or not. Wherever you arrive in your tree pose, settle now and relax into your breath. The hips are soft, shoulders relaxed. Notice your jaw and breathe. Full deep breaths coming in and out. Wherever you are, another layer of challenge can be to close your eyes if they're open. In any one of these positions, when your eyes are closed, you may become more aware of the body, muscles and bones moving to keep you upright. One more full deep breath in and out. The next exhale is the invitation to exit. So do so with intention as you let the arms first come down and then the foot lands. Notice one side to the other. Then take a full deep breath in and out. And if there's any shake or wiggle your legs or feet need, feel free to do that. We'll go to the other side. Rooting down through feet and legs, finding that Tadasana stance, the sway side to side. I always like to begin the balance practice by centering in the body. Next time you land on your right side, pause there. Rooting down through foot, through leg, that is your support. When you feel that stability, Opposite ankle, this time left heel comes up to the right ankle or thereabouts. Fix your gaze. And if you're ready or wanting to move the arms up, the inhale lifts arms up overhead. Palms together can stay here or the palms come to the heart space. Feel free to move the foot as well. And wherever you are, let the breath flow in and out. Full deep breaths. A balance practice is so essential, especially as we get older. Important that those muscles are used so they know what to do if we begin to fall. One more full deep breath. The exhale, the invitation to exit as the arms come down first and then the foot lands. Pause, full breath in and out. 
and then turn to your chair. And now let the chair, turn the chair to the side so that you are facing the back of your chair. Hands can rest on the top of the chair. If at any point leaning into the chair with your wrist are, is uncomfortable, you can always come down onto your forearms. If that is uncomfortable, if the chair has a sharp edge and you have a blanket, again, a sweatshirt or a piece of clothing, you can prop that up here as well and use that for support. So know that you have these options should you need them. Make a little bit of space between the chair for your legs so that you could bring up the knee towards chest and not hit the back of the chair. And then we'll begin. Starting with the right side, take a breath in and draw the right knee into chest. Exhale, extend the leg out. Inhale, draw the knee in. Exhale, extend. Continue to move in this pattern. If you want to add on more challenge, more sensation, you can extend the opposite arm as you extend the leg. And as you bring knee into chest, you can bring the elbow in towards chest. Again, this is simply a layering on of options, depending on where your body is today in this practice. We'll do two more. Extending, coming together. The next time the leg is extended, invite it to stay. If the opposite arm wasn't up and you want to play with that, you can lift that up. Keep the gaze to the floor. This will keep your spine in line. Again, you always have the option to send the toes to the ground if this leg extension is not in your practice today. Two more full deep breaths here. The exhale invites the hand down and the leg to come back in. And then walk to the back of your chair to stand behind it to take a full breath in and out. And we'll go to the other side. So step back again so you have enough space for the knee to come in. And on the left side, the inhale draws the knee in towards chest. Exhale, extend. You can add the opposite arm extension. And as the knee comes in, the elbow comes in. Move with the breath at your own pace. A couple more. Good. Next time the leg is extended, invited to stay. The option of bringing that other arm up or not. Gaze to the floor. Breathing full, deep breaths in and out. The next exhale brings the hand back down, the foot back down. Walk the feet to the chair. Good, take a full breath in and out. And then take a turn to face back to the front as you inhale, reach the arms up, and the exhale brings the palms to heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up, and the exhale, palms to heart. One more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time, as you exhale, send the arms back behind you. Now, you have a couple of options. Hands can be interlaced with the um, fist reaching down towards the floor. You can also place the palms of your hands on your waistline. In this back bend, we're looking to extend the curve of the lower back, that natural curve that's there, as you lift the heart up towards the sky. I'm pausing here for a couple of breaths. Remembering when we compress bone, we build bone. Back bends are a great way, can be a great way to compress the spine, to build bone in the spine. Also can be helpful for disc herniation. One more breath, in and out. And the next exhale, soften back to your neutral stance. And then one more time, turn to face the back of your chair. 
and then step back with your feet as you wag your tailbone from side to side. So slowly inching that tailbone out. The backs of your legs are as straight as is comfortable. Hands or forearms resting on the top of your chair, about shoulder width apart. Now if that's uncomfortable for your shoulders, you can play with bringing hands together or moving them out to the sides of your chair. You also have the option, if your chair allows, to bringing the hands down to the seat of the chair. I would recommend coming to the outside of the seat of the chair. So pausing here in this modified version of downward facing dog, looking for a flat back or the torso parallel to the floor. The head and neck can be soft with the gaze aiming towards the feet, the shins, knees, perhaps even thighs, depending on your body. Stay connected to breath, moving in and out. The next breath that comes in, begin to walk the feet back towards the chair as you slowly bring the torso upright. And then pause with the eyes closed as you let the blood rush back down into the body. Downward dog offers a slight inversion with the head below the heart. If you're experiencing high blood pressure or have had recent eye surgery, you can keep your head either parallel with your torso. And then the arms come down by your side and once again turn to face forward. Take a breath in to lift the arms up, overhead, palms come together, exhale, palms to heart. One more time, inhale, sweep up, and the exhale, palms to heart. Pause here. This segment will include closing and shavasana. You now can move to your seat. Find a comfortable position. As we wind the body down and relax, you want to sit all the way back in your seat. And as you settle in, if you have a block, or a book, um, or perhaps even um, a couple of pieces of clothing that could be in front of you about the shape of this block, that would be great. And if you're sitting all the way back in your seat, let your feet come to the outside edges of the block. So they may be a little bit wider than hip width apart. Your ankles are under your knees again, or knees sort of above the ankles. And get comfortable in your seat there. Relax hips and buttocks. Good. Now let the legs just completely relax where they are. If you notice when the legs softened that the knees kind of widened, then simply adjust your feet to line up. Take a breath in and out. The next breath comes in to bring length to the spine. And as you exhale, come forward with your heart and then let the forearms rest on your thighs. Then the wrists can be soft. The head and neck can also be soft. And we'll pause here in this supported position to simply allow the lower back, the muscles and bones that are around the tailbone and the sacrum to soften. If when you came forward, you moved forward in your seat, just wiggle the buttocks back until they're either touching the back of your chair or even going through the opening you may have in the back of your chair. And simply hang out. 
You want the shoulders to be soft, the breath flowing in and out. If this position is uncomfortable for your shoulders or for the upper torso, you can use a bolster or pillow or cushion on top of your thighs to rest the upper body onto. So connect to your breath, moving in and out. And you simply allow the upper body to rest into the lower body. You may feel your forearms digging into the thigh bone. Imagine I'm placing one hand on my lower on your lower back and raising one hand up to your neck. And as you exhale, I gently press to let the spine lengthen in both directions, softening. You may feel like you're falling more forward as the body softens, releasing the tension in the lower back. This is a great pose to bring in if you're traveling, if you're waiting in between flights, if there's some room on the airplane, even in the car. Just releasing the tension around the hips and the lower back. Two more full deep breaths here. Letting go, softening. To come out of this pose, bring your hands to the thighs right above the knees and slowly walk those hands back towards your hips as the torso raises up, stacking the spine one vertebra at a time. The neck and head are the very last thing to come up. You may find the body adjusting in your seat. And when you arrive, pause there. And you can move the block or whatever is used beneath you off to the side. Bring your feet close together, as close as they can come. And then invite the soles of the feet towards each other. Now if this is uncomfortable for ankles or for your feet, you can always invite that block back in and rest the feet on top of the block. And in this position, you may want to move the feet out a little bit farther. You can discover what works best, depending on the height of your chair. Hands rest on the thighs wherever they land as you arrive in butterfly pose or wide-legged pose. Buttocks are to the back of the seat, sitting all the way back comfortably. The spine is lengthened, but the shoulders are soft. Eyes can be closed or that soft gaze. And connect to the breath, flowing in and out. We 
we continue to let the muscles and tendons around the spine soften. Moving up the back into the lower back region, between lower back and shoulder blade area. When muscles can lengthen, they can be stronger. And using the support of the chair or a block will promote the release of the tension. Support equals release, not only in our yoga practice, but in our daily life. Enjoy a few more full deep breaths here. Letting go. And the hands come to the outside of your thighs. The next breath that comes in, press hands into thighs to bring the legs together. Feet come back to the floor or on the block. If you're on the block, step off. Place the feet back on the ground. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg, and your feet are going to be as close together as is comfortable. The left arm can either be by your side, or if comfortable for your shoulder, you can send it all the way back behind the back of the chair. So check in and find a comfortable position for that left arm. Take a breath in and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, press the hand into the thigh to engage the twist. Start from the lower belly, moving the twist up the spine until you get to the head and neck, gently bringing the gaze back towards this left shoulder. And pause wherever your body tells you to land. Relax your hips and buttocks into the seat. Let the breath come in to bring some length and the exhale, soften. Just as twists can be a great way to warm up your body, they also signify to the body to slow down, to unwind. So enjoy a few more full deep breaths here. Let both of your shoulders soften away from the ears. The next breath that comes in brings length to the spine and the exhale unwind back to center. Pause there for one full breath in and out and then left hand comes to the outside of right leg, right arm, either by your side or behind you. Breath comes in to bring length. Exhale, press hand into the thigh as you begin the twist. Letting the head drift back towards the right shoulder as far as is comfortable. And breathe. Hips and buttocks are soft in the seat, your shoulders relax. Twists physically in the body, squeeze and soak those internal organs, your liver, your kidneys, that help release the toxins we no longer need. So as you pause here in this twist, every time you exhale, can you release what you no longer need? The next breath comes in to bring length to the spine. And as you exhale, unwind. You come back to center. Pause here. Notice how you feel. 
And then make your transition into your Shavasana, your resting pose. You can do this on the chair just by being comfortable in the chair. However, you'd like to relax the legs either out in front of you, if you have a block and want to rest your feet on the block. You simply let the body be soft. I will guide you through about a seven minute Shavasana. If you need that to be shorter, feel free to wake up and move at any time. To enter in, there is simply nothing you need to do. You don't even have to listen to my voice. You allow the body to completely relax. There's nothing you need to hold up or hold on to. Muscles and bones let gravity come in and they take over. And they melt into the chair, into the earth. Your breath moves in and out with ease. There's no effort. It's the body breathing you. Thoughts and sounds, even my voice, drift through your mind like clouds floating by. Nothing stays. There's nothing you need to do here but rest. If the attention wanders, simply have it notice the breath move in and out. It's all natural rhythm. Going deeper and deeper. Softening. Letting go.
Begin to lengthen your breath. As you invite a fuller, deeper inhale and release a longer exhale. Movement comes back into body. As fingers and toes may wiggle, head may drift side to side. And any other movement as you slowly bring breath and body back to this space. Your eyes can remain closed as your hands drift towards each other. Palms come together in front of your heart space. With your thumbs pressing into your sternum or your breastbone. Bowing forward, arriving at Anjali Mudra, prayer position. And take this moment to thank yourself for showing up, for spending time moving body, breath, and mind in union, yoga. And if there is an intention or a seed that you planted in the soil of gratitude, take a moment to notice that intention. And I wish you peace and compassion for yourself as you nourish yourself and grow. And may there be peace in your heart, peace in your life, and peace in this world. Namaste. The light in me always sees and honors the light in you.